Hi, this is what I call the medium-sized dog high-tone cajon. It's a little bit shorter than some of the cajons that I make. This one is all Baltic birch. That means every ply of every piece of the construction is birch, like a lot of some of the best drum sets are built up plies of birch. I call it high-tone. It's a little bit shorter. And the way I position the pocket it isolates the head a little bit differently. I'll show you. This is a talking drumstick that I've uh, softened up because it uh, kind of calms the attack down and gives me a sound that I like. I'll show you. This is mimicking the motion that I would make with the side of my thumb. As you can see, with the pocket, what that does is it kind of breaks up the head into zones of different tension and floppiness, and that gives you the ability to have distinctly different notes and tones, so that you've got all these sweet spots and areas where you can hit it and make other sounds. Um, I actually prefer this without the snare because uh, I like the tone of the wood, although it does have a snare that I'll show you later. That's, that's the fat bass note. Now you can manipulate that sound hole kind of like an udu drum. Cover it up and uncover it and bend that note a little bit. mute that and you still hear that resonant bass tone. Now, if you spin it around, that pocket is here now. And since it's wood, and every piece of wood is different, you got those tones, but they're a little bit different. That makes every medium-sized dog cajon its own unique animal with its own tone zones and sweet spots, and opens you up to being able to use your hand drum and pandero and dumbek technique and have the head respond in ways that uh, a lot of other cajones just don't give you the ability to do. And this one's a little bit different in that uh, I have some other bongo type cajones with round bongo dots that are offset. This one makes it symmetrical, which makes it, I don't know, equally easy or equally difficult whether you've got these pockets on your right hand or your left hand. And I like to use them just with them in my right hand. since I am left-handed, when I put those on my left side, I pick up my stick. And that hook on there makes it easy for me to go around the corner. See, so it's like the techniques are, are limitless. I really want to hear someone who doesn't have my imagination playing these things. So I hear what 
what they're going to come up with. This is the snare engaged. And also, this one's a little bit shorter. It makes it easier for you to maintain the posture your mother told you that you should. And uh, you're able to reach more of these areas that are down lower on the cajon without stretching and hunching. Medium-sized dog. It's the evolution of the cajon. Thank you.